Hey guys, this is Mr. Sisson, and I'm going to show you how to use the peer evaluation tool, and we'll use this at the end of some other projects too, but since this is your first time to see it, we want to make sure you know what it is that you're doing. So once you've clicked on it, you're going to see a screen that looks a lot like this, um, and you're going to see a couple different things. You've got the rubric right here that you can look at, but you're going to be able to look at this as you assess people from your group. Um, and so that's there, but uh, you don't have to get too sidetracked by it. The first thing you're going to need to do is come down here and add your group members. So when you come down here and click add group member, it's going to bring up everybody from this class or from whatever class you're in. And so let's say I was in a group with Hector and Ali and uh, Brandon. Well, now that those names are here, for me to be able to assess them, I need to go in to click on their name and it's going to bring up these rubrics. And you want to make sure to assess them, read through these things, make sure that you've kind of looked at what the different columns um, talk about, whether it's attitude or uh, the type of work they did or how they listened, and read through these. And once you find a column, let's say Hector, I think Hector was incredible in using the right voice. Well, then I'm going to come over here and click this column, it's going to bring up his score right up there, and obviously you'll see uh, that we're going to do, uh, got to do a little bit of adjusting with those. But anyways, um, that's going to put his score up there, and then you have to write some feedback about everything. So each norm that you grade them on, and each person, you're going to need to write some feedback. So I'll write down here, Hector was the greatest listener I have ever worked with, and... I think that anyone would benefit from the questions he asks, or asks, I'll do past tense. Okay, so now I'm done with using the right voice, except really, the better your feedback is here, the better it is for these people as they move forward in this class. So really, like my feedback right there, I'd say is good, but I could do more. So hopefully you guys do more than one question, or one sentence for each of those. Then I'm going to move on to the next one. So I'd be on honor the work. And let's say, Hector, he's awesome, but uh, he didn't. he's a great listener, but he didn't honor the work as well. Let's say he didn't do the jump start that often. Um, he didn't really, he only worked on homework when it was assigned. Well, then I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to say, Hector didn't really do homework in, unless we assigned it to him. I'm not saying this is true for Hector. He's just an example for us. Um, he seemed to care most of the time. Uh, but others, he seemed distant. Um, or, or he was on his phone, say something like that. Because I'm guessing some of you will use some feedback like that. The important thing to know about this and why you should grade them honestly is they won't see your name attached to any of this. And so this feedback is just going to benefit them. And so make sure that, that you are honest. They aren't going to see it. They're not going to see your name or anything like that. Um, so anyways, you just work through and do that. If you have any comments you want to send to us, like, uh, I really think Hector is a great leader, and he would be um, uh, awesome in any group he worked with. Uh, well, then I'm only going to see this. Um, if that makes sense. But as you can see, I can't submit yet because I have to have I have to have things filled in on every single one. I have to have grade them in each norm. You see, there's three, and then I can save. And now I can see that I've reviewed Hector and scored him. And it's not until I've gotten through all three that I can submit. So that's what that looks like. Um, the better feedback you give, the better it is for your group members and for this class as we go forward. All right, thanks, guys.